Resident Evil. Also known as Biohazard in Japan, celebrates its 20th anniversary this month. It didn't create the survival horror genre, but it certainly helped make it become popular. At its heart, the entire game is really a tribute to the B-grade horror films of the past. This is most reflected in the dialogue and its delivery by the voice actors. Stop it! Don't open that door! What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. The story is simple. Star's Bravo team is sent into the Arclay Mountain region on the outskirts of Raccoon City to investigate cases of cannibalism in the area. But their chopper goes down and communication with them is lost. In order to find out what happened to them, Alpha Team is sent to the location. After finding Bravo Team's down chopper, Alpha Team comes under attack from dogs, actually called Cerberus, and the surviving members seek refuge inside a mansion. Jill, run for that house! Inside this mansion, they discover zombies and other forms of undead creatures that are trying to kill them. The first Resident Evil game is the only one in the entire series that has a live-action opening sequence and multiple filmed endings. The heavily censored version has the majority of this gore taken out and is in black and white. This is even the case with the director's cut. But the original opening was much more graphic. Here is the fully uncensored version of the live-action opening sequence. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Barry Burr. 
Burton. Rebecca Chambers. Albert Wesker. Resident Evil. One of the ways the story is told is through diary entries and notes that you find as you go through the game. These are optional to read, but if you do read them, you will get a better understanding of what has happened. The game effectively uses static camera angles, much like you'd see in a film. The backgrounds are pre-rendered, and the 3D objects, enemies, and characters are superimposed over the top of them. Every time you open a door, there is a cinematic of the door being opened. When you go up or down a ladder, there is a cinematic of a ladder being ascended or descended. The same for certain sets of stairs and all these also act as loading screens. Before you begin the game, you have the option to play as one of two characters, Jill Valentine or Chris Redfield. Both have their advantages and disadvantages, but they don't experience the exact same things or experience things in the same way. Am I poisoned? Give me the serum. The control setup used for Resident Evil and many of its sequels is often referred to as tank controls, meaning that the way you move the character feels like you're driving a tank. If you want to move forward you press the up button on the directional pad no matter which way the character is facing, and the same goes for backing up by pressing the down button. If you want to turn your character mid walk or run to alter your course, then you have to press either the left or right buttons on the directional pad to do so. The inventory screen will show you what you have collected. You can examine the items to see if there's anything about them that could be useful or give you clues. This screen also shows you what state your character's health is in as well. Other aspects of Resident Evil are the puzzles you need to solve. Some puzzles, like the paintings, require you to figure out the correct order in which to press each button under each painting, and each painting depicts a different stage in a human's life cycle. There is also a lot of going around to find items that you need in order to progress. Throughout the game you can find weapons like these. There are a lot of enemies you will encounter in this game. Here are examples of what you will face.
Resident Evil is outdated by today's standards, but it is still an important part of not only the history of survival horror as a genre, but also games in general. If you haven't played the original 1996 version, definitely give it a chance. Go into the experience expecting a B-grade horror game tribute to B-grade horror films. Resident Evil, happy 20th anniversary.